Okay. Um, well, this is a really sweet win for us um, for a number of reasons. Um, coming across the country again, showing that we know how to do it again. I'm so proud of that. Uh, there's a really good chance if, if, if you ever if you win all the games, you know you got to go across the country sometime again. So we know how to do it. I'm really proud of that for our club. Um, the the defense continues to play really really good football. They played great all day long. Uh, we had a couple of lapses in there when they got to dinking the ball around, and they did a nice job moving it. Give them credit. But um, when we had to have it, finished the game off. Uh, guys rallied and, and, and nailed three sacks in the last drive. That really obviously changed the football game from taking away their chance to win. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure you can see that we respected this opponent a great deal. Um, we respected their pass rush, um, all the, the the power of that defense up front and all. I thought uh, Shadi and, and the fellows on offense did a great job with the plan. Russell did a great job of carrying it out. Um, we ran the ball for a bunch of yards. We found ways to do that. Uh, keep the ball away from them, not get sacked. Uh, I'm, I'm just really thrilled about the way that worked. Well, obviously, we would need another touchdown drive in the second half and, and to separate this thing because we really felt in control of the game. But uh, without that, you know, the, I think we had three three and outs. We just didn't convert on third down to, to keep the thing moving. But uh, and, and they had a nice turnover in there, obviously, that changed it. But I, I just thought that the whole team played together. Uh, Michael Dixon had a huge game today. We were playing field position all day long, and he did a great job of keeping them deep and making the, their offense go the long, the long haul. Um, so um, I, I, I really like that football. And, and uh, you saw it was the same last week. Um, and uh, I'm hoping that we can keep carrying it out, keep playing the kind of complimentary football that really gives us a chance to, to be really hard to beat. John Boyle? Yeah. Pete, the, this is another playoff for us for you guys, ninth one. I, I know you have bigger goals other than just getting to the playoffs, but what does that mean to, to be back in the postseason? It, it's a really big deal. That's, there's a lot of stuff that happened. Getting 10 wins is a marker, um, you know, and, and being in the playoffs with games to go, that's a beautiful thing. Um, we're going to, you know, we, we're playing for everything, and which is great. Um, again, next week be another championship game for us and, and just what we've been preparing for. Um, but uh, to, you know, to, to show, and I said, made a comment to the guys in the locker room, the guys who came to this program, the young guys have never been in it. Um, they, they can't appreciate it. Like the guys who have been around the league but have come to our team to play with us, to play with Russell and Bobby and KJ and Dwayne and all those guys uh, and, and uh, try to be part of something you know, we, that, that is different than what they've been having. And I'm really, really happy about being able to share that with these guys. And uh, so well, it's I'll a big day. It's a big accomplishment. Along those lines, you've talked to Jamal at all about that. This will be his first postseason. No, I, have, I have not talked to him specifically about that. No, um, and there's there's a number of guys in there that this is why they're here. You know, Carlos was here like that for, for that, and and uh, Carlos Dunlap. And uh, anyway, so there's a lot of good stuff going around right now. Corbin Smith. Hey Pete, DJ Reed continues to bring great energy and make big plays for you guys in the secondary each week. Even with Quentin and maybe Trey coming back soon, uh, do you now see maybe a little bit of a cornerback controversy brewing here the last few games of the season? No, I don't. I don't see it as a controversy. But I, I, you know, whether it's with the running backs and going with the hot hand or with cornerbacks, you know, he's playing good football, and and I like all of the activity and the consistency that he's shown, and he's tackling really well. Um, he's just a playmaker, so um, you know he has the lead to hold that spot for at least going into this week. Uh, we should get Trey Trey back this week. Uh, Quentin has a uh, you know Quentin practiced all last week. Um, he should be in better shape for this week. We'll see how that all works out. We're getting stronger. Matt Calkins. Pete, I know you take pride in consistency, not just being able to do it once, but to do it over and over again. So to, to make the playoffs eight times in nine years, um, how proud are you of that? And is there anything? That you attribute that to specifically? Well, I, I um, yeah, I am, I am really proud of that. That's that's what we're here to do. Just keep on winning and give ourselves a chance to, to win championships. And so we're, we we got a shot. Um, I, I attribute to uh, the consistency of our leadership. Um, Bobby and and Russell, uh, KJ, Dwayne. Those guys have just been there, you know, and they've been through it. And you know, all the stuff that I say to these guys. Is, is only as, as meaningful as they make it. 
and uh, they continue to support the message and, and keep us on track and, and be beacons for w how we do things and why we do what we do and the way we look at stuff. And, and uh, you know, we're a little different and we got a different way of, of dealing with things. And without their help and their support, you know, we would, we, it just wouldn't, the message wouldn't be as strong. So it is a strong message and these guys know it and they, they, they've come here to accomplish something and they're doing it. I love this team. I've been telling you guys that since way back uh, when we first assembled just the makeup of them the, the mentality and, and all that and, and it's really guided by russell and bobby and and, and, and the guys thank you michael sean dugar hey Pete, why do you think you guys haven't been as sharp as you'd like to be on third down offensively i don't know just, we're not just don't we're not hitting it as good as we as we like to um it, we're trying really hard <laughs> you know we're trying really hard. I don't know what the numbers were today, but we're trying really hard to, to convert every one of them. And uh, we just got to gotta keep working at it. it. It would make the game so much easier. Uh, you said uh, Russ and Shotty. Five, and five of 12. Yeah, five, five of 12. Um, you said Russ and Shotty did a good job carrying out the plan. What exactly did you like uh, specifically about how they carried out the plan today? The rhythm, the rhythm of getting the football. This is a tremendous pass rush team. They, they've got uh, four number ones or whatever, you know, up there hauling ass at you. And, and uh, they didn't get Russ, you know. He he. That was awesome. That was that's how they ha have won games, you know. By by like we did at the end of that game, uh, this game today. Um, you saw our pass rush today. That was that was big time. Well, that's how they've been playing, and that's why they've won four or five in a row, whatever the heck it is, and it's why they're leading their division and all. And and we didn't let them have it today. They did not have the pass rush day that they've been having, and and that's an, a tribute to the guys up front. It's a tribute to the plan, and and then Russell carrying it out, but getting the ball out of his hands all day long. Thanks, Curtis Crabtree. Yeah, Pete, going back to DJ Reed, when you guys pick him up, he's coming off, he's got a pectoral injury. I don't know if you guys knew at the time that he'd even be able to get up and play for you. To have the impact that he's had through half the season, jumping in midway through this, how big of a pickup has he been for your defense given all the injuries? Th this, is, this is John Snyder working his magic. I'm, I can't tell you enough. John has done this so many times. Uh, he, he realized that there was going to be a big loop w in there where we weren't going to have him available. Uh, we could take him off. He's a really good player. We could take him off their roster and put him on our roster and just wait it out with the thought that if we needed him down the stretch, he would be available as a nickel and, and potentially other places. We really didn't think of him as being a starting corner uh, when, we, when we brought him in. We thought he would be a, a, a great nickel. He played gr terrific at the nickel spot. and. Uh, and, and so we have that in him as well. But I, I just think this is John just uh, projecting, you know, and, and looking towards the future, you know, instead of, you know, I, I need a guy right now and I can't, I can't bet on a guy who's going to have to sit for two months. And it was, you know, he's he just done it again. Uh, John, I, I think this team and how we put it together, uh, John deserves so much credit because I just think he's just, he's just had a great, he had a great vision for all of this. Bob Condota. Um, yeah, Pete, what, what did you think of, of the running game and how it worked and, and then getting Rashad back in there a little bit and sort of the decision to make him active for this yeah, game I, and everything? Yeah, I thought the consistency of all of our guys, you know, they all had 50, 60 yards in there. Russ had a big play in there that, that, that uh, you know, pumps up the yards. But um, I think the running game is really alive for us. And I think you got to, when you play us, you got you to gotta get ready. Um, for, for Rashad to get a couple carries, that's all we hope to get, you know, four or five carries if we could, just to break him back in. You know, this is a long, long re recovery and return. We just wanted to get him out there, and, and so he did it. You know, he's played in the game, and now next week we'll be able to do more with him and use him more so. That, that's worked out perfectly uh, well for us today. Greg Bell. Hi, Pete. This is two games now. Dunlop's saved at the end with a sack. Is this beyond what maybe you expected when you got him or, or – how revitalizing is he? Been? I, I go back. You know, you guys always want to want to know that you when know, we knew this was going to happen, <laughs> you know. But uh, this is the hopes, you know, that he would come in here and be a factor, and he certainly has. He he, ha he didn't have a great game early on. He was just getting out there. He had some mistakes and stuff like that. But uh, I thought Clint did a great job challenging him on the sidelines to go ahead and you know bring it and. and uh, when we needed him most, he really came through in a big way. I haven't seen the sack that, that he got. Um, I don't know what it looks like, but guys are raving about it. Um, but he's a powerful man, and, and uh, his factor helps the other guys. You know, and that's one of those cases where a good player helps other guys play better. He's a, he's a real good factor for us. I, I thought Alton Robinson's rush was just a perfect rush today on, on the sack that he had, the forced fumble we didn't get. Um, that's, that's how we see him. We're hoping he can do that more and, and uh, add to it. So good day. And LJ Collier, he, he's been frustrated by how his career has started, but to come up in a big position like that for him, what, what can I do for him? 
yeah, he continues to just be really steady in, in a factor. He's playing really hard. He's got great energy and, and adds a bunch to to our style of play. Um, He's got he's got some you know, he's got stuff to him. You know, he's got real good reach and some real slippery uh, ways of rushing the passer. I think he's just coming on. I think this is I really look at this as like his rookie year. I, I know it isn't, but uh, this is the first year he really had a chance to really go for it, and, and he's he's having a terrific season for us. Joe Fan, Pete, how do you how do you balance you know tipping your cap to a good defense and then maybe potentially having some concern when your offense kind of splutters in the fourth quarter or just now thirty nine? You, you guys do that. You go ahead and be concerned. I ain't concerned at all. We did exactly what we wanted to do. I, we just didn't want them to be a factor in this game and to give up some yards and you know the stats and all that stuff. I didn't worry about that at all. I, I thought I don't know what Russ's numbers were. Where's he? Twenty. 18 for twenty seven. I, 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 that's another Bart Starr type of game and and. Uh, you know, playing the football with our whole team, that worked out great today. It, it might, it'll be different next time in the, the game after. But on this game against that team, we neutralized their, their strength. And, and that's, that's how we, what we had to do to get it done. So, so I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything that you can see in this that's negative. I don't see anything about it. And you guys can look for it. But I just don't see that. This was the game we wanted to play. It's almost the score we thought it might be and, and all of that, that it was going to be really tight and it was going to be a championship match. And that's what it felt like. So you just attribute the fourth quarter to things that happen in football? We, we didn't convert our third downs, you know. We just needed to convert third downs. And we had a ball tipped, and the guy makes a marvelous play to tip a ball up. That's how they got it back, you know. You, uh, like I said, you can worry about it. I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> we'll, we'll, well, I'm we'll fine. Well, I think it's a valid question. You guys had 39 yards in the fourth quarter and had a 20 to 3 lead. I, I'm not being combative. I'm just asking how you feel I about it. I didn't say you were. I, I said you guys okay. are entitled to do it however you want to do it. I just don't see it like that. And, and uh, I, I wish we would have made a couple more first downs and, and not let them have the, their last couple of drives. We just didn't get it done today. Jackie Montgomery. Hey, Coach, you kind of touched on it earlier, but can you speak to the defenses, their um, their final stop there and the pass rush coming alive at the end? What, what was the, the start of the question? What? Um, can you speak to the defense coming alive there at the yeah, end and the yeah. pass rush as well? Yeah, I, I, I was uh, so fired up to see them answer the, you know, the finishing challenge like that. Um, it just they just cranked it. You know, we didn't have to do anything special. We didn't have to pressure anything. We just let the guys cut them loose and and it just all of a sudden took life, you know, right out of them. And, and uh, it was a marvelous energy about him and the finish of the, the game. It's, I guess it's all we ever could hope for, you know. And, and uh, so, you know, we've had a bunch of interesting finishes this season. And that was one of them. And, you know, yeah, why would that all of a sudden happen? Well, those guys just, they just stepped into that, that next level, uh, you know, of going for it. And uh, it was a beautiful thing. Brady Henderson. Hey, Pete, uh, DJ Reed is not the typical size guy that you have play at cornerback uh, on the outside. How, how have you seen him? I guess overcome that uh, not not being the traditionally sized guy. He's just a different style player. You know, he's really he's a different style. But his feet are just lightning fast, and and his uh, his athleticism is just it, 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 he's so sudden, and uh, he can make up for you know he has to stay out of situations where he gets pushed around or shoved around. He's 183 pounds, you know. So, but he he knows how to do it, and uh, I'm really fired up about his play. And, and, and you know, as much as we've worked in you know everybody's old, but the long long arm corners and all that stuff. I mean, that's what I've always wanted. But but way back in the day at NC State, you know, we had Perry Williams. You guys don't remember him. Played for the Giants for a long time. He was beautiful, 6'2", you know, beautiful. And then we had Donnie Legrand. You know, Donnie was about 5'7". You know, both those guys played back in the day. And, and that's where all of our corner play and the, the source of it started. They come in different shapes and sizes, you know, and, and we just have to be open to it and not be stubborn about, you know, that everybody has to be like whatever this, this you know, this mold. And uh, it couldn't be more obvious. Look at our quarterback. <laughs> uh, one more on DJ Dallas. I obviously, it did not look good there. Do you, do you have any update on him? Yes, um, he, he sprained his ankle. He did not break anything, which we're all thrilled about. Um, uh, so he's got. I don't know how severe the sprain is, or that, but he did sprain his ankle, and and uh, the all the X-rays were negative. So that's a really good report for for you guys. You know, to pass along. Thank you. Last one for Coach Ben Arthur. Hey Pete, you, you talked about how well you know your your defense finished the game. Um, j just to start the fourth quarter, though, is there anything that you saw that that wasn't uh, like what exactly was the lapse? Yeah, <laughs> no, we, we really we we didn't we didn't turn our focus towards just getting after the passer. We were still playing run and pass. And, and so we kept staying kind of in more of a base mode. They just hadn't done very much. You know, there was not much that 
down the field. There was not much of the running game. None of those things were factors. It wasn't until they, they started going back to back to back to back, and then they put together a couple drives. And we just had to shift gears, and, and I thought Kenny and those guys did it. Um, and and they, they, they turned the guys loose just like we needed to. And, and the last drive, it all showed up. Thank you. Okay.